So, Salmon Run. It's fun. It's energetic. It's entertaining. It's fun to play. A game mode in Splatoon 3 and Splatoon 2 where you and where you and three other teammates go into an arena of sorts and battle salmonids to the death for their golden eggs to harness them for some kind of energy. And in return, you get rewards and cash and abilities to help you in turf war. Everybody wins! Except when you dive deeper into the implications as to what's going on in Salmon Run and Grizzco itself. What is up, everybody? This is Joshua Alves of Alvarez Gaming Films, and I'm here with another theory video. Yes, another theory video, this time about Splatoon 3's Salmon Run, because mainly what I want to talk about is the implications... <coughs> excuse me. The implications as to what could happen in the next game of Splatoon, if there's going to be a Splatoon 4, but we don't know. So, in Splatoon 3, we know that we faced off against Mr. Grizz in the main campaign. And now we don't know who is running Grizzco, because Mr. Grizz is confirmed to be dead, as by the end of Splatoon 3's Hero Mode. However, I'm not here to talk about the Hero Mode, I'm here to talk about Salmon Run as a whole. The reason why is because in Salmon Run, if you take a look at, like, the actual gameplay and the actual, like, additions that were added into Salmon Run in Splatoon 3, you start realizing that there are some dark implications as to what's going on, and the Salmonids are not happy. They are beyond pissed off with all of us for meddling in their affairs. And let me get down to it by starting with Splatoon 2's Salmon Run. Splatoon 2 Salmon Run is just like Splatoon 3 Salmon Run, except there's no King Salmonids, there's no extra wear, and there's less bosses, there's no um, fish stick, there's no flipper flopper, um, what, are they, what are their new ones, whether there's no big shot, um, yeah, I think those were the only new, new additions to the Splatoon 3, but anyways, what I'm getting at here is in Splatoon 2, we have, you know, the Salmon Run mode, where we start harvesting the golden eggs, we don't know what they're for, we never found out what they were for, because in Splatoon 2, it was just, you know, that that whole thing where it's like, oh, it's just a business, you get hit, but here, you get cash and abilities and, um, and cool gear, so just, here, uh, do this job. There's no repercussions, no, not whatsoever. So, basically, what happens is, in Splatoon 2, where we go into Salmon Run, it's, it's a lot less... Um, hyperactive than it is now like yeah you still have it still cra gets crazy and it was still pretty hard but with Splatoon 2 we started Salmon Run and we saw the um, the aggression of the Salmonids in the first you know in our first interactions with Salmon Run they're hyper aggressive they know where you are all the time they just don't have the ability to climb walls and we also know that Salmonids are actually pretty damn intelligent as we've seen they can create their own weapons they create special weapons for their special salmonid brothers and it's interesting how we never really take a look at that and think we, we when we're playing salmon run we just think oh it's just another uh, boss salmonid kill it get its golden eggs deposit them and all that but if you look into the lore as to what uh, how these things work these salmonids are creating technologies that are rivaling our own in fact might be better because they're more destructive than our own if they're unstable sure but does that really matter when there's billions and billions of salmonids every single time you're going into a match well not into a, not every single match but probably billions and billions of them in the seawater that we don't know about and now we have Splatoon 3, where we continue harvesting the golden eggs. And by the way, speaking of the golden eggs, think about think about that. We're harvesting golden eggs in Salmon Run. Eggs, right? Unborn salmonid children are being harvested for some kind of resource. And even after Mr. Grizz is dead, we're still harvesting some kind of resource from them. And we don't know and we still don't know what it is. I mean, yeah, it probably helped Mr. Grizz with his um, production of the Fuzzy Ooze in the Hero Mode of Splatoon 3, but what is it really being used for? What is it being used for now, anyways? So this leads me to believe 
that if there, <coughs> excuse me, if there is going to be a Splatoon 4 and Salmon Run comes back, it's probably going to get even worse. Because if you think about it, with Splatoon 3, we not only got the King Salmonids, and King Salmonids are huge. They are big. They are half the size of the fucking map most of the time. And, and that's just talking about the first few. There's Kahuzuna, who we saw came out first. You know, he didn't seem that bad. But then we got Horoboros, who launches a giant booyah bomb from his mouth. And he's, he's way bigger than Kohuzuna. And then we have the newest one, Megalodontia, who literally gulps up half of the entire map in one bite. So he's even bigger than Horoboros. These King Salmonids are getting bigger and more aggressive than they have before. And the Salmonids are getting more smarter because they created new bosses. There's the Flipper Flopper, the Fish Stick, the Big Shot. They're creating new weapons. They're creating new bosses. They're getting bigger and more aggressive. Because speaking of being more aggressive, the big runs that happen, they come in and attack and flood the city. So, if we continue, and this is all probably because we keep harvesting their golden eggs. We keep pissing them off more and more every time we go. Because think about it, every time you go into a match, whether you win or lose, the salmon meter goes up whether you win or lose. So whether you win or lose, you're still pissing off the king salmonid just by taking part in what's going on. So that's why I think if Nintendo releases a Splatoon 4, if they do, and Salmon Run comes back, who knows what chaos would be unleashed, and who's to think that we little Inklings and Octolings will be able to stop them anymore, because I think it might be the sign of an apocalypse that might rain down onto the planet. Who knows what'll happen? This is just a who knows, right? So again, this is all just theory, but if you take a look at the gameplay and how the enemies have been behaving, I think we can make some pretty good assumptions that Saren Run might equal the end of the Splatoon world. So yeah, that's my whole theory on Grizzco and Salmon Run and how I think the King Salmonids are actually going to get even bigger and even more destructive. And they might attack the city even more, who knows? So if you like this little theory video, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe for more content here at Alpha's Gaming Films, but there will be more content, of course. Just today I wanted to do a little theory video about Splatoon 3, and don't really have anything to record right now. I probably will do, um, tomorrow uh, is going to be a new Alistair with the has -been cast. Hopefully, as long as everybody, or as long as a good amount of people show up, maybe two or three people, either way, I'm going to record some something from VRC, even if it's just another Alistair plays of VR chat. Uh, and then this weekend we'll probably have some Helldivers, more Baldur's Gate. We'll see what happens. So again, thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Also, really quick, I want to thank everybody who's been subscribing and tuning into all of my content and just being awesome. We're at, we're at 820 subscribers and that's incredible. That's crazy. That's why I'm so happy right now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Again, consider subscribing. We're getting closer to that 1,000 subscriber mark. And once that happens, I have my I have my 1,000 subscriber video ready to go. I just need to, you know, I just need to get there first and then I can release it at last. The 1,000 subscriber special with a little added bonus on the end of it if you stick around the whole video think you'll, you might like it. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. Subscribe for more content here at Office Gaming Films, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.